<laughs> I used to lose this me zips there. You know, uh, I'm sitting once again, I'm sitting in my the spot I go for inspiration. I'm sitting over in stick I'm listening to all this drama about this as one gathering stuff and it's like driving me crazy. But all of a sudden somebody in the room says, Hey Zip, I tried to call you today and you weren't home. I'm like, oh, hello, I was at a funeral. And they got all quiet and everybody else was like, Don't you embarrass now? You're saying something like that. He was at a funeral, you know, you big dork. Anyway, so I'm thinking about, you know, so I started telling this story and once again I had to pull myself back. It's like I gotta go make a video for YouTube. It's just a really quick story, but boy, this was one embarrassing moment for me. Let me tell you. Okay, in the early seventies, I think. Yeah, it was the early seventies, and I'm I'm like on the road with my band, and all of a sudden I get this incredible pain in my testicles. Okay, and I'm like, ooh, that's really bad. And then my testicles started swelling. I can't believe I'm telling this story. Oh God. Anyway, so my testicles started swelling up to they're like they're like they're like way big you know I'd like to say they're like golf balls how big are golf balls yeah they're like golf balls and it hurt they hurt like hell I mean when you move and this was the days of very tight pants you know so wow that was really painful but but those swollen testicles did look really good in really tight pants but anyway that's beside the track I mean off the track so I'm on the road, so I don't have a doctor or anything. So I go like to an emergency room in like Rochester, New York, I believe I was. And they're like checking me out, and you know the doctor says, "Oh, you got epididymitis." Like, what the hell is that? And he's like, "You've got miles and miles of this very fine cord running through your testicles, and um, you know some people are prone to get infections, and then that swells up, and uh, there's a lot of you know, uh, you don't need all the gory details." Anyway, so he's like, I'm going to put you on, you know, Keflex and some, you know, a whole bunch of really, like, pretty powerful, uh, 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 what do you call those, antibiotics. Okay. And I'm like, well, well, how long is it going to last? And he's like, well, did you ever have it before? I'm like, if I had it before, I would know what it was. He's like, okay, well, then it's probably only going to be, like, three days or something. I'm like, what am, What are you talking about? Am I looking forward to having this again? And he's like, well, you know, to tell you the truth, epididymitis is pretty much a uh, chronic disease. You know, it'll come back until you have something done, like either have your epididymis removed. I go, what does that mean? He's like, well, we cut a little hole in your nut sack. I'm going to call it nut sack because I don't know what it's really called. Scrotum nut sack works for me. And um, we remove the whole epididymis and then it never comes back. I'm like, okay, well, I'm not doing that. So I took the pills and like it went away. But uh, I, what they didn't tell me was every time you get it, it gets it got progressively worse. So I was one of those lucky people. I knew when I was going to get it because it started happening every two years in July. And like the first time I had it, you know, it just really hurt a lot. But I was still able to go on stage and do my stuff and, you know, get around just with pain. The second time I had it, it hurt like so bad. It was like really hard to walk and stuff. And so I mostly pretty much like laying on the couch. The third time I had it, there was like no getting out of bed. I mean, if I had to go to the bathroom, I, I get, they got me a wheelchair to take me to the bathroom and stuff because it was just, and now they're starting to get like the size of like, like you're wearing like, um, n like navel oranges in your pants. That really hurt. And then the last time I got it, I, I was totally bedridden. It's like I had a bedpan and the whole thing. It was, ugh, it's, this shit hurts so bad. Anyway. So, this is like late 70s now, and um, this is the day when Rhoda was like the big show, you know, Rhoda, she was like a spin-off of the Mary Tyler Moore show, you young people aren't even going to know what I'm talking about, I don't know why you're watching my damn channel anyway. So, she was on, I believe, Sunday nights, Rhoda, and like, this is the only thing I'm looking forward to, because I, I don't know why I love that damn show, just watching that, that, oh yeah. I loved it. Anyway, so I'm, you know, Rhoda's going to be on in 10 minutes. <laughs> Rhoda's going to be on in 5 minutes. I'm, like, all excited. All of a sudden, it's time for Rhoda to come on, and I switched to CBS, I believe she was on. And it, there's no Rhoda. And I'm living in New York at this point in time, and I'm like, you know what? I'm close enough to the damn TV station where I'm calling them up, and I'm going to tell them I'm bedridden, and I need my Rhoda. So I call up and it's like, hello, you know, I get an operator at CBS and she's like, hello, you know, the CBS, blah, blah. I said, you know, I got to tell you, I've been waiting all week long. I am bedridden here and I want to know why the hell Rhoda isn't on television. And she's like, well, um, if you would have watched our station for a few seconds, you would have realized the Pope died. Oh my God, I felt the biggest, like, like, blasphem, blasphem, blasphemous, just, 
person in the world it's like here i am so selfish wanting to watch rhoda i don't even watch what else is on and it's like this whole you know is it gray smoke is it white smoke coming out of the towers of wherever to have roam whatever <laughs> it's not like the biggest asshole i'm worried about rhoda and the damn pope died Ooh, i can't believe i said damn but you know what i meant anyway <laughs> i just wanted to share that story with you i'll talk to you later thank you <laughs>